So let's take a look at the results file that we got. This is what the software left us with. Now we started with 4,899 properties and after we took out the duplicate owner names and we took out the um, uh, properties outside the assessed value range and the properties outside of the taxes owed to value range, we already cut out what about 4,600 or uh, 2,600 of them. So now we're down to 2,227 properties. So let's go over some of the things that the software did to the list now. Um, we have the owner names now properly formatted in first name, last name format. And then over here you'll see some other names. If there were more than one person listed under the property, uh, the software will put all that extra information over here. So that way you'll know that maybe there's, uh, these could be middle names or maybe they're another person's name who owns the property as well. So that's good to have for reference. Um, so you know uh, that there could be other people on the property. Now, before I show you everything else, um, this software is in a beta version right now, which means it works, but we're still trying to get some of the last minute bugs out of it. And so for now, there's a column here that says flag. And if, if something appears in that column, that means there might have been a, pr a problem processing the address or the name. So what I'm going to suggest you do until the final version comes out, which you will get for free, is to highlight the whole spreadsheet and sort the column by the, uh, by the flag column, just like that. And you may just want to put all these ones that are flagged aside. There shouldn't be too many of them um, out of, let's see, out of all the ones we had, there were 482 that there could be a problem with splitting the address or the name. So let's cut those out and let's put them on this other duplicate spreadsheet here and we can work with them later if we choose to. Okay, and we'll delete these blank spaces here. Okay, now everything we have left here should be in perfect shape to to work with to market to. Now let's look at some of the things that the um, list processing software did. Now we already talked about it getting the name properly formatted, um, but if somebody had duplicate properties it would put all of the duplicate parcel numbers here. So uh, Alicia Jenkins, it looks like she had two properties, so it, it put her second property over here on the duplicate uh, worksheet so that we can we can look for that if we want to if we get a hold of her but anytime you see a comma here that means it consolidated uh, this person owned two properties this person owned two properties this person owned four so now they're all listed in one cell for you so you don't have to have four names on there of the same name okay so now the street address is properly formatted so that you can use um, click to mail or mail merge or any other kind of mailing system that you want to use to send letters out it has the city and state excuse me city and state is separated and then the best thing is it also looked up the county that the owner lives in okay now this was a Polk County Florida list so if we wanted to mail to everybody who is outside of Polk County because they're an absentee owner we could sort by county. So now anybody whose county is outside of Polk, you know that they're an absentee owner. So all these people here live outside of Polk County but own a property there that is tax delinquent. Those are the best people to contact. So if you were going to try to do a, a smaller mailing to the very best owners, they're all separated out for you. Now here's all the Polk people and you might want to save them for later because they live in the county. Okay, but you have a whole bunch of people that live outside of Polk County and it's all separated for you right here. So you just saved, this probably would have taken three or four hours at least to have gotten these addresses properly separated, gotten the assessed values properly uh, filtered the way you wanted and the owner name properly formatted so this whole process took less than 10 minutes and if we wanted to we could do another we could start another worksheet down here insert worksheet 
And why don't we call this one out of town? So why don't we copy over all the ones that are outside of Polk County and see how many we have. Cut and paste. Delete those blank ones. And we'll leave all the Polk ones in here. And now we will get all these off of here. Cut and paste. So we have 415 out of town owners whose properties meet our assessed value requirements and who do not owe more than a third of the property's value in taxes. This is, the, this is a great list to start mailing to right away. Now in an upcoming version of this software, which may be ready any day now, we are going to be able to automatically have the flagged properties and the out-of-town owners uh, also put onto other worksheets automatically for you, so you won't even have to do that. When you're done processing, you'll have your absentee owners and your local owners separated out. You'll have your company name properties separated out, which you may want to mail to, but they're not as successful as mailing to individuals. Um, and You'll have all that separated out for you, so you won't even have to do that step I gave you just now. So stay tuned for updates. You'll, you'll get updates on the software as they come out. And go mail to some owners and get some deals. See you later.